of good stuff, sweet stuff today. First, meat, cheese, fruit, then butter. The list goes on and on, but there's a new trend taking over the boards. We have Ricky Edwards here. He's from Sprouts Farmer's Market. You're here to show us how to make a caramel apple board. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Melissa. One of my family's favorite to do in the fall season. Um, a great activity for us. So I'm very excited to get out here and show you how this is put okay. together. And speaking of family, I should mention his wife is here. <laughs> She's yes. been helping set this up. I want to make sure we give her her kudos as yes. well, right? Yes. It's a family affair today. So before we get to all of the various mm -hmm. toppings here, including candy corn, we want to make sure she shines right yeah. out front. People have been throwing shade <laughs> all month at candy corn. Uh, we know you have to have good product, produce, yes. right, to begin yes. with. So talk about the apples, the differences between the two, and how to make sure you pick a good one. So be, um, to start out, you know, here at Sprouts, uh, one thing we like to look at is just the whole grip of the texture of the apple. So as you go through your apples, you want to make sure there's no dents, no bruises. Right. Um, a lot of times, because of the transportation of the product and fruit, um, sometimes it get lost in the different bumps and um, bruises that they can get. Um, one of my favorite to go to is my Granny Smith apples. Um, my grandmother's classic made the best Granny Smith apple pie day in and day out. Um, so for me, Granny Smith is a little bit bitter on the sweet taste, and the red apples actually pack a little bit more fiber as well. Mm -hmm. But either way, both of them are great healthy choices for you. Yeah, I think this activity. is my personal favorite because I like that sweet and sour mixture. Yes. It does wonders for the taste buds. So here, these are the various toppings that mm -hmm. we talked about. And what I didn't know is that some people use nuts or mix their nuts even with candy corn. Yes. I, I learned that this morning. <laughs> I knew about the pretzels. I knew about the cookies. But talk about this whole assembly of of sweets we have here to go along with So that. we just try to get some nice, good, healthy, sweet things, um, especially from our bulk department in Sprouts. So um, to start out, we have some nice, tasty chocolate chips, um, some pretzels. Uh, my kids' favorite is the, um, the, the colorful sprinkles. Yeah. We have some um, walnuts, some Oreo cookies. My wife's favorite is the coconut. My ah. favorite, yeah. With the candy corn? Yes. You know, you know that those are fighting words for some <laughs> mixing the two. I don't know about the coconut, but I do like her. Uh, and then here are the marshmallows. Marshmallows and granola. Okay. And of course, like I say, candy corn is my favorite. It's the Hall Halloween staple. Awesome. So you got to have it out there with your okay, apples. Okay, and you have already sliced the apples. Yes, we have. You have the sticks here. So I'm going to start with the Granny Smith one first. Well, you go ahead and you go first. Do the honors of dipping yes. in our caramel. And you brought some jars of that as well yes, that you all right here have from Sprouts. Purchase. Another great healthy treat for you. Okay, so I put this on my plate first. Mm -hmm. So we like to just get a good spin, you know, oh get it covered in there nice and lathered up. I can tell you at home, you know, it was a big competition in my household who gets the creative. <laughs> right. Um, unfortunately, I lose to my 10 year old day in, day out. Um, but hey, I'm getting better as time goes on. I can okay. tell you that much. Well, it would be challenging, I'm guessing, to make the candy corn stick, but yes. you could at least kind of decorate your plate. Well, with between it, you and I, I just sneak off and eat a couple pieces <laughs> of candy corn. So. <laughs> Yourselves like me taking candy off of a uh, Holly's desk. I was not supposed to say that, but I did take <laughs> just a few uh, pieces of candy corn. So, what's your personal favorite outside of the candy corn? I'm going to do the pretzels um, for the first time. I'm a time. big granola fan. I always have oh. been uh, growing up. I just love the crunch, and then we sell some great granola there as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I always go granola besides my candy corn is always my go-to because it's something that I'm really good and I know. Mmm, very tasty. And I just did the sprinkles. Yeah. That's not even counting all the other stuff. It's you all are also expanding in our region. I understand you just opened a store in Manassas. Yes, that's right. Right off of Sudley Road. Um, recently been open. Great location, great community. I'm very excited to have them down there. So definitely come down. You can come shop our bulk department, get some of these items mm -hmm. um, day in and day out. We got a great leadership team there that's, willing, that's waiting to take care of our guests. This is so good. And you're going to leave all of this with us, all yes. of the extra? I decided to leave it with you <laughs> today, no problem. <laughs> you just decided five <laughs> seconds ago, but it's all good. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing all of these ideas. I think they are great, not just for families, but parties. A lot yes. of people will be gathering, and it gives you something to do. Yes.